Um, all of these products are specifically designed for Tron, for the movie. Uh, we're working together with Disney on that. Um, so you'll see a lot of uh, familiar things that you know from Tron um, on these products. For example, uh, the, uh, the keyboard has a um, honeycomb side uh, texture. It has this light strip that um, lights up from left to right when you power up the keyboard. So it looks like it's, it's kind of resing to life like in the movie. Um, it also makes a sound when you start the keyboard up, which is uh, kind of gimmicky, but uh, really cool for Tron fans. Uh, it makes that, that original sound from the movie, the resing uh, uh, sound. And uh, apart from that, the keyboard is really a standard gaming keyboard, so it gives you all the functions that you need for uh, PC gaming, um, which is the macro uh, programmability. You can program every key on the keyboard. Um, you have the gaming mode where you disable the Windows key, and uh, anything a gamer needs. Uh, so it doesn't only work with uh, Tron uh, or the game for Tron. Uh, it works with any game um, and you get what you need. So let's take a look at this guy over here. This is your brand new uh, right. concept, right? This is uh, the most important thing that we're showing this year. It's just called the uh, Razer Switchblade. And it is, for the first time, um, a, a PC gaming system as opposed to uh, PC peripherals that we've been doing in the past. Um, so this is a a very portable um, PC gaming laptop that has a touch screen on the top and it has an adjustable keyboard on the bottom. That means um, there's an LCD screen below the keyboard um, and the keyboard is transparent so the LCD shines through the keys which feel like a normal keyboard but change um, according to what program or game you're running on the system. So if you're running an FPS game you're getting those controls from that specific FPS game uh, mapped on your, on your keys. And if you're then going back to browsing or uh, typing something up, uh, you'll get the regular QWERTY keyboard uh, displayed on the keyboard, which is really quite uh, uh, interesting to see how that switches uh, back and forth. And uh, that's the technology that we really want to show with this uh, concept here. So this is a portable. This would be a portable concept. Uh, so, but uh, ideally, you could also pull this into a bigger size and be able to run more powerful games. Yes. Um, uh, we're really showing the keyboard technology. Um, the final product that's going to come out of this technology is not yet determined, so it could be this uh, kind of portable device. It could also be uh, a full-size keyboard that you hook up to your regular gaming uh, PC. Um, that's not really determined yet. And then we have the Hydra over here, I guess? Um, yes, we do have the Hydra right over there. Um, we got uh, people from Sixth Sense that, um, with whom we've been working on this uh, product. Um, they're uh, giving demos on the Hydra, which is a motion sensing controller that translates the motions one-to-one uh, -one from your hands to the PC uh, screen. And we're actually working with Valve um, to get uh, uh, gaming content for Portal 2. So we're working toward a launch date for this product for in the same time as Portal 2. And we're going to get uh, a few stages in that game that are only playable with the Razer Hydra. Why don't we go over the road? It looks like they're recording, but we'll do we'll take a look as well. Yeah, there's a demo going on right now. Um, this is actually one of those stages of uh, Portal 2 um, that are only playable with the Razor Hydra. Um, so he can do uh, special movements with the Hydra. Okay, cool. All right, perfect. Perfect. Now we got our now we got our private Hydra session. How you doing, guys? Good. So what's going on? What do you have? What do you have in your hands? What I'm holding here is the <coughs> the Razer Hydra. It's a magnetic <coughs> motion device developed by Sixth Sense. Very high precision. One millimeter of <coughs> accuracy. One degree of accuracy in rotation. You can just see it, like if I spawn on these a couple of these cubes, how precise it is. You can go ahead and set it right up on there. Exactly how I want. Right, pull it out from it. I get a freebie by just being able to <clears throat> do this. I can just throw it. Whoops. I can just throw it. We've added <clears throat> some special content for Portal 2, the scalable cube, by using custom Razer controllers. Make a little path for us to get across. At some point, we decided it'd be fun. If not only did <clears throat> we could change the size, but if we could change the, the mass of an object based on its size. So I saw down there, there was a plate of glass that I need to get through. 
and that little cube just didn't break it through. <clears throat> We're gonna make a big cube, drop it right through. And now we don't need that anymore, we'll just throw that aside. Oh, it's amazing. So this this is uh, sensing where you are? That's actually a very simple uh, device. That's just causing a, creating a magnetic field, a okay. low power magnetic field. And these devices are somewhere in that field and they're picking it up and figuring out its orientation and position based off of the field. So it's true position, which is interesting. Like if I go up here and I go into this one-to-one -one mode and I move my hand left and right, you see the cube moving. Well, that's going to happen if I just step aside too, right? But now, now it's just centered again. We just center it, so you can move around, whatever. And then with this kind of stuff, we get some like free functionality with stuck Portal 2 stuff, just by being able to reach this thrill and now reorient those laser and light these guys up on fire. Oh, got a haircut there. Jump, tilt up, crouch, tilt down. Very organic sort of mouse control or uh, you know movement. All right, thank you very much. No problem. Thanks. Thank oh, I was really impressed. Oh my gosh! So pretty. Give <laughs> him a little bit sweaty right now. That was really impressive. I don't know if you guys can hear the music behind us though.